to this start. This conference will now be recorded. Great. Good evening and welcome to the February 8th, 2023 regular uh, planning commission meeting for the city of Tenino. Uh, let the record show all commissioners are present with the exception of Commissioner Rutherford, who has an excused absence. Uh, let's start with uh, looking at the agenda. I guess uh, unless we have something to add, I'll uh, move approval of the agenda. Yeah, it looks pretty light, but <laughs> I'll second. Yeah. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Agenda approved. And now let's take a look at uh, the January 11th meeting minutes. Any uh, modifications we see that need to be made? Make a motion to approve the minutes. And I'll second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, minutes are approved with uh, as written. Uh, I'm not sure what goes under housekeeping. Um, are there any, well, we don't really have any housekeeping that I know of to, to do. Is there anything under that category, Jen? I just wanted to share, we have still not received any applicants for um, the C. So um, I wanted to let you guys know to, you know, help promote that a little bit if you can. Uh, we've shared it a couple times on the Facebook and it's on our um, city website as well. Um, and then uh, we had a big pool meeting yesterday, which was really exciting um, ah. for phase three. So, um, you know, we have some guys that were working on the design for that. So um, there's some exciting stuff to share there. I think we are, uh, Wayne wants us to present it um, soon for some, like a big open house at the Quarry House and it will have some stuff for that. So um, more on that to come. Great. Any um, time frame on breaking ground on those plans, or is it kind of prevent, kind of too early for uh, that? We do have the pool permit in hand for phase one, Great. so that's the city side. Um, so that should be starting really, hopefully, like in the next two weeks. Um, and then the quarry house is just about wrapped up. Um, we anticipate them by the end of the month being finished. Great. Thank you. Uh, do we have anybody for public comment? No public comment. Uh, do we have any reports? City Council or anything? All right, thank you. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, Again. sorry. I was going to say probably what you are, Dave. We are going to talk about the R um, on the 14th. So if anybody wants to attend, I think Dave said he's going to make that too, but you can elaborate more on that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. I just, that's what I was going to say. So on the 14th, I'll be there to answer any questions and, uh, I think it's just on the discussion, so I don't know if there's any planned action yet, but uh, it just uh, be some discussion in the work session. So it would start at <laughs> seven or three. Great. Uh, Dan, do you have anything for uh, reports? Um, well, I, I can, I was going to add that we had a meeting with the mayor, um, Will, and staff uh, last week, I think it was early last week, and uh, 
laid out kind of some ideas for the uh, work plan for 2024. So we'll, once we can get that finalized, we'll bring that back for you. Um, on next month's agenda is going to be presentation of the housing action plan strategies. So we'll get that material to you, you know, a week ahead of the meeting and uh, give you a chance to review that. And so that those um, housing strategies will be something we'll want to chat through and <clears throat> also uh, work to prioritize them as well. So that's what is on the horizon for um, the housing plan. Um, and just a, a hat tip to some of that work item. I mean, the, the comprehensive plan update, which we've talked about um, before, is probably the predominant work item um, in 2024, kind of starting this summer uh, with some background work. But um, the work around housing and growth and annexation and West Tonino and how to you know deal with all uh, that we know um, for the habitats of the Mazama Paca Gopher, those pieces will kind of inform the comp plan update moving forward. So that's that's kind of the outlook for the effort that is before us on the, on the um, comp plan. So really hopeful that we can staff up the planning commission and and um, and have the planning commission serve as kind of the primary clearinghouse for the review of that item as well as any workshops. Uh, that we conduct with the public. Where are things at with the uh, habitat conservation plan? Is that going to be prior to that? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, in the conversations with uh, with the mayor and with uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, based on both the uh, county's HCP and also the uh, RCO status. Um, hang on a second, I'm going to switch over. Good. Uh, yes, we can hear you. Okay. Um, yeah, based on the status of the county's comp, uh, HCP and the RCO, I'm sorry, the um, the um, Washington Department of Fish and Life, Wildlife um, acquiring a good portion of the Alpaca of America property, um, we're not we're not certain about the need for a habitat conservation plan for Tonino. So. Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife is kind of evaluating whether they think we should go ahead and move forward with the uh, with the HCP. So, in in short, um, as I said, that's a good question. But in short, we we have never found Mazama Paca gopher in the built up part of town. Um, so I. And I think when Hidden Meadows evaluated that a number of years ago, they did not find anything um, on that uh, west side of Scatter Creek. So every development that we've had so far uh, where, where you have uh, multiple houses or condos or, or townhouses or, or such, we've asked those applicants to pick up um, a biologist and have a biologist do a survey and, and no gophers have ever been present. So the fact that the soils are somewhat conducive to pocket gophers hasn't led to any actual habitat um, anywhere in the community. Um, and so uh, where we knew there were gophers, which is West Tonino, is now owned by the state, predominantly owned by the state. There's a couple spots, um, but, but the spots that we know there are gophers that are in private hands are probably not sufficient to justify a citywide HCP effort. So that's kind of the short, the shorter answer, uh, Corey, on how we're we're looking at it right now. So there's no money has really been expended. We haven't we haven't gone through an RFP process. The grant money is still there. Um, we're just, I would say, cautious about biting into that approach if we're not positive that we 
you know, we need to, because it's a, that, that the grant money and the consultant effort was like half of what would actually be needed in order to establish the HCP. But the other half, once you do the plan, you have to do the environmental review. And so that NEPA or that EA would be a subsequent funding a application for grant funding and a, and a subsequent couple year delay. And so that we're kind of in a, in a, a hold right now. Great, yeah, that makes sense. And surprisingly, I, I, uh, and, if, and if WFD, Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife were here, they would, they would, I think, add to this that um, they, I, I, they weren't really too worried about that. I think, you know, I was sort of expecting them to, because you know, this is their job, and this is the things that they are, are dedicated to. Um, they, they didn't really. They saw the, the value in our approach. They didn't really push back too much. So Jenny, you were in those meetings, right? Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I I agree. They definitely were like, oh, well, what is the point, I guess, at this point? <laughs> uh, great. Do we have any updates on uh, the ag business park? How things are proceeding yeah. with um yeah so they have submitted their draft uh sepa checklist for the building and so we are reviewing that and we um we will likely issue a threshold determination in the in the next week or or so and they are continuing to go through their design and design process uh there are uh, proposed two buildings proposed for um, the main parcel and then two future pads for future buildings um, on two other kind of pieces. So the, the property is still um, kind of in flux, you know, I mean, because the, they have preliminary uh, approval for the, their plat for a, a, a five lot subdivision, but not final yet. So that there's there's just some steps and sequences to go through, but they are getting closer on their building permits or their building application, I should say. Yeah, things things moving along anyway. Yep, and and I think uh, the tenant mix is going to be something that is going to be a, a positive addition to the community. Right. So that that's all I really have um, from planning's perspective. No other real major development proposals. Great, thank you. Well, we don't we don't have too much else to go over tonight. Then, uh, as far as I can see on the the agenda here, no public hearing, nothing listed under unfinished or new business. Is there anything to talk about under any of those categories? I don't I don't have anything else. Okay. I don't either. Gonna be Shane? a. a Shane, did you have anything? No. Gonna be a short and sweet one. Uh, any announcements? Anybody's got anything to let us know about? I have a question for Mr. Oh. for Commissioner Alex Murray. Yes, sir. Are you are you of a frame of mind to uh, make an announcement on your your new position with Lewis County? Oh, yeah. So I uh, I just recently uh, took the position down at Lewis County as uh, facilities administrator. Congrats. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Really cool, really cool move for me. Oh. Nice. Is that a county? And, but it was great. I ran into Dan today at a meeting. We both kind of looked at each other and went, hey. 
Congratulations. Thank you. Well, and Alex did not stay for the entirety of the meeting, um, uh, but Commissioner Swope, who's one of the three commissioners, was uh, talking about Alex's permanent uh, positive approach to life and his 24-7 uh, smile, I think is what I remember him saying. That's nice. I'll echo those sentiments. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll uh, cut it off here and reconvene in March. Uh, meeting is adjourned. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Time. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Dave has left. All right. Thanks, Corey. Hey. Good job. Hey, Dan. Thanks, why do you have a second? Yeah, I can hang tight for a moment. Yeah, perfect. Hey, um, I'm gonna I'll send you an email, but uh the Johnson Townhome revision hey, with should the we stop recording, Jen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> perfect.